Oh, recording. Oh, okay. Hello and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. Today I have with you uh, an unboxing and booking because it's, um, it's a bit of both of Paris Gondo, a game designed by the people behind The Realist. Possibly, yeah, the best RPG podcast out there. Even better than mine, which is quite something, but there we are. Now, this being an indie production that's been taken very good care of, it was fairly pricey. Has it been worth the amount of money that I had to pay to get my hands on it? Welcome to the GMS Magazine RPG and Booking and Boxing Everything videos. I must say, I knew about the existence of this game well before it was published because Callum invited me for a playtest run with some absolutely amazing people from Portugal. So I had a very good idea of what this game was all about. And I thought the first time that Callum told me about this, I thought, you, you, what? This is weird. I mean, this is, what? It's is a game about getting rid of the stuff that you don't want or you don't need. Like when you go out um, gallivanting in dungeons and you get a huge amount of treasure and you are completely encumbered by the whole thing. What do you do with it? Well, you're going to do a Merry Condo, uh, which is why this game is called Paris Condo, and give it all away. Now, I know that Calum's been working on this for a very, very long time. So I was really looking forward to finding out what it was going to be like. This game was released at Dragon Meat 2021. And I only got it about four weeks ago because transport is hell in 2022. You know, for those of you watching this in the distant future, yeah, 2021 and 2022 between pandemics, supplies, crises and all sorts of things, yeah. Not a good year for getting puzzles from anywhere, really. But anyway, it's here now. That is all that matters. What is inside the box? Well, there were two versions of this. Uh, I could get just a book or I could get the box set, which comes with a few little bits and bobs and gimmicks, which I thought, yeah, I'm going to have this because, you know, Callum is my friend and I love him and I want to support him. So there you go. Everything. Everything indeed. So um, firstly, there is here a QR code so I can get the PDF of Paris Gondo, uh, which is very nice. The life saving magic of inventory, uh, which is great. So that's that because I haven't claimed it yet. So I cannot show it to you. Sorry. And it comes with a little bit some pops of packing, which I hope my dog will never find about because then he will be pandemonium and then we get a number of things well firstly we get a few stones little pebbles which is actually quite a nice little thing instead of uh, using wooden cubes or that sort of stuff they're little pebbles which are going to be used as tokens throughout the game which is very nice by the way even though i've played this game it was a while ago, and I don't even know if it is exactly the same game as I played it, because Callum was playtesting it at the time. So whatever I tell you today, take it with a pinch or a grain, whatever is healthier, of salt, um, because I could be slightly wrong on the matter. But that's fine, because what I want is for you to look inside the box itself. So we get two decks of plastified kind of character sheets and we get a fighter 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 bard 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 rogue rogue, rogue, rogue rogue wizard so your starting inventory is going to be a first level spell book a malodorous components malodorous so it smell badly components moth eaten ornate rock why moth eaten poor moths unfashionable magic stuff Fair enough indeed, and an unreadable stone tablet, because readable will be kind of useless. So that sort of thing. This is laminated 
And this box comes with a pen. Eraser or marker, dry erase marker. Let's find out. Let's see how good is it. So, in fact, let me do this, which is going to be very annoying for my husband, but I'm going to do this so I can zoom in so you can see exactly what I'm going to do. There you go. I've zoomed. I'm yeah, there you go. Zoomed. So, uh, I'm going to say total encumbrance, encumbrance, five. And encumbrance factor, seven. And total usefulness, zero. And total emotion, a thousand. I don't know what any of that means anymore. Uh, but it doesn't matter, because the point is to show you if this erases properly or not. And I'm going to use one of these very handy little things that my dog would love to have to play with. It works. And it's magic. It disappears from here as well. It gets reduced to nearly nothing. That is magical. So, we get two of these. So, one with the characters, being silly here now. And... And then the other ones for looted items that you can describe. Uh, as you can see, every item is going to have an encumbrance, usefulness, an emotion, and affiliated usefulness. And this is because during the game there are going to be several faces and you're going to give this to people who are going to find it more or less useful and sometimes you will find something that's not very useful but you're emotionally attached to it and you're going to have to decide whether you want to get rid of it or not and see how it feels to getting rid of that. Of course there's a book that means I'm going to have to zoom out so let me just a second if the remote control decides to work a bit more like that thank you okay and there's a little book uh, which is super delightful, very, very delightful, very well produced with your slipcase, well, not slipcase, but your cover, the dust cover, as I've been told. And the whole thing is in black and white. It comes with how many pages? Not very many. How many pages is this? About 120 something pages with the character sheet at the bag and everything. Nice illustrations, lovely cover, and the description of what the game is all about in the back. You know what? If I saw this into my friendly gaming local store, this would attract me immensely because it's a beautiful way of um, making a book. It's, it's just lovely. So, what is inside? Nice table of contents. Thank you, Callum. Thank you, Jeremy. And we get how to read this book. Why can't I keep my inventory in order? Replay, set up the session zero, steps, so creating the dungeon, the party, the loot, the life-saving magic of inventory, the journey home, and the emotional epilogue. And the Gone Paris method, inventory for an exciting adventure, what you need to play, and script and rules. This I don't think any of that was there when I played the game. So this is new. I think I need to delve into it, into this a little bit more. Uh, by the way, just in case you think that um, this is just, you know, written by Jeremy. No, 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 no. In fact, uh, Chris Sims worked on this. Uh, I don't know where the credit page is. Uh, I need to find it. But I know that my friend Chris Sims did a lot of editing for this, so that works and helps a lot. Uh, one single column layout for such a small book, that is not a bad thing. Plenty of space everywhere. Some very cool little illustrations all over the place, which is very nice, very cute. Uh, okay, this is for the podcast. Uh, you should have a listen to the podcast, seriously. It's actually very good. I'm not joking. I mean, my podcast is excellent. Don't get me wrong. But uh, Jeremy's podcast is brilliant. Very excellent as well. So uh, you should have a look at it. And the book, just in case you don't get the box set, which you should. But if you don't get the box set, look at that. 
Contribute to another column. Look at that. Rules editor is Chris Sims. And Chris is very good. All right, apart that, he's a good friend of mine. I love him to bits. He's a very, very good. The graphic design section. I know the work of Franchita Soto and she's very good, so I'm, I'm not surprised about this at all. And this is why you should get the box set because some of these things in the book are quite small, but in the box set they're a little bit bigger because I haven't finished with it. There are these, um, the classification table which tells you about the uh, when you roll the encumbrance and the usefulness and the motion of the objects. The description plays on the boss. This is something to put on the middle of the table where you're going to have your little tokens. The dungeon generator table, which is very nice. And then the next card, and these are the cards that I can't remember what it's all about. The whole thing is in exactly the same material, which means that it's going to be dry erasable, like magic, by these things. And it does erase very nicely, which is very good. So, I honestly can't remember if it was 20 something pounds, about $30 that I paid for this. And you know what? I am really glad I did for several reasons. Firstly, because I love the attention to detail paid into this little box set, which is great. But most importantly, because I'm actually helping an indie creator do something that a number of bigger companies should definitely pay attention to. And the fact that he's managed to create a game about getting rid of stuff that works and it tells beautiful stories I didn't know that was going to be all that possible. I genuinely thought that Callum was really having a bad day when he told me that. But the fact that he's managed, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased, really pleased about this. So uh, very well done. I hope you can get your hands on one of these. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter. But until the next time, thank you very much indeed for being there. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Take care.